Welcome back to part two of casting Gear Down for What's Planetary Gearbox. In the last episode, I ran out of plaster and probably didn't have enough propane. I picked up more plaster. I got a full bottle of propane. Now we need to finish up uh, pouring this mold, burn it out, and then pour our metal. Let's get started. All right, boys and girls. So here's the finished mold. I poured it the second time. You can see here's the a gap if you will of where the second pour was looks like it's on there pretty good but we'll see i mean if it starts cracking off obviously we're going to have an issue with that um and i think for the burnout process we're going to have to go with the barbecue i kind of stopped using the barbecue because it uses a lot of gas and it just takes a long time but due to the size of this mold um i think that's just what we're going to have to do so let's get this thing over the barbecue and start the burnout process all right, so here it is on the barbecue. Um, keep in mind, this is a gas barbecue, but obviously you can see I got charcoal briquettes along here. I do that just because it helps raise the temperature and um, they burn you know, fairly long. So it just keeps the temperature up and uh, I suppose I use probably less gas. And uh, like I said, just keeps it real hot in there so everything melts out. Because as I said before, this will take, mm, it might take all day, we'll see, it's a fairly large, uh, mold so we'll get this done and uh, see if we can get this poured today burnt out and poured so after about a couple hours on the barbecue I decided this was just taking too bloody long so I stuck it on the forge and I don't know if you can see it in the video but there's smoke rising out of the sprue holes when the smoke stops that's when I know that it's all burnt out all right guys well the mold is now officially burnt out we started this at 8 o'clock this morning. It is 4.30, so whatever the math is there. Right now the mold is about 5.90, somewhere in there. Uh, it's probably gonna be hotter at the bottom because that's where I was sitting at. So anyways, hopefully all the PLA is out, or sorry, the, the machinable wax, wax filament is out. Um, I don't see it smoking anymore, so that's a good sign, but that's not a guarantee. I'm also a little bit worried down here with the cracking, so hopefully we don't spring a leak. Um, but hey, we can all, all we can do is cross our fingers and make a pour. So let's start heating up the metal. Well guys, I think that was a successful pour. Looked like uh, all the vent sprues filled up. You can't see that side because I spilled too much metal on it, but no worries. Uh, but it looked like all the vent sprues filled up and I didn't get any bubbling, which would mean that there was still wax left in there. So looks like a good pour, but you never know until you crack this sucker out. I'm gonna let this cool up and then we'll crack it open and see if uh, we've been wasting our time. So stay tuned. Well guys, it's still a little bit hot, uh, like probably, I don't know, 150, 200 degrees, but the anticipation is killing me. Let's get this thing cracked open. This is by far the longest it's taken me to break open a mold before, but I wanted to be really careful so I didn't accidentally whack one of the gear teeth and screw it all up. Now keep in mind I'm using Machinable Wax's print to cast wax filament for these gears. If you're interested in it, run over to Machinable Wax, I'll leave a link in the description. Use coupon code PROJECT, all caps, to get 10% off your order. Helps you out, helps out this channel, and it's a great filament, especially for casting. So there's still some plaster on it, it's still really hot, but it's looking damn good. I don't want to quench it in any water and have it shrink on me, so I'm going to let it cool down naturally and then we'll clean it up and see how it really looks. Alright guys, here we are. Here's a little tree of gears, if you will. And it came out damn good, I'm really surprised. I mean there's a couple little bubbles and, and issues in some of the gear teeth, 
but all together, all of them filled. Um, we'll have to do a little bit of grinding probably in the valleys of the gears on a couple of them with either a Dremel tool or a file or something. I'll have to figure it out. But they all came out really good and I think this will work. Um, I'm actually really impressed. This is by far probably the hardest casting I've done and it came out great. So let's get these sprues all cut off and, and uh, separated into individual gears and we'll check out how they look, hopefully some better close-ups. All right, here are the mostly finished internal gears. Uh, I say mostly finished because while I've sanded them and got rid of the sprues, there are small little bubbles, little bumps inside some of the gear teeth, not all of them, but some of them. And I'm gonna have to go in there and uh, basically grind them out, file them out. I already done a couple of them, but uh, that's something I'm still gonna have to do. So as I get time this week, I'll go in there and do each individual one. It's very tedious work, uh, but they do mesh together uh, already. And can I get this in here? And uh, turn, um, but some of those bumps kind of make it stick or make this main gear wobble a little bit. So I'm just gonna have to fit them, you know, precisely together and uh, it'll take a little bit of work, nothing too bad. All together, they came out really great. Uh, I can't, I'm just surprised at how well they turned out to be completely honest. This was a uh, difficult casting and they came out. So on the next, stu next step, which will be the ring gears, we'll address this next week. We still have these two ring gears to do, the outside carrier, and then the base plate that sticks it all together. So the base plate we may do out of PLA, maybe I'll test it, see how well it holds up. But the ring gears and the carrier, because they obviously carry weight, uh, they do need to be out of aluminum. So we'll do that next week. Big congratulations to Gear Down For What for hitting 10,000 subscribers. He's actually, I think, at 12,000 as of last night. Awesome. And uh, so run over to his channel, and if you haven't already, and check out that uh, new video he posted this weekend for the 10,000 subscribers, 10,000 to one gearbox uh, with some Adreno. I thought that was really cool watching it time lapse. And um, make sure you hit like and subscribe on my channel and so you can see the next one where we cast these ring gears and to see the future if we can get this whole thing together and see how much it'll lift. So uh, as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.